In this video, let us solve problems based on the integral powers of the iota or iota is nothing but the imaginary part of a complex number which is i. All right, here we've got a problem which says uh, evaluate i to the power of 135. Now, we did see in the previous videos uh, how to solve problems with i to the power of uh, something that is greater than 4. All that you have to do is just divide that exponent which is greater than 4 by 4. So, divide uh, 135 by 4. So, you have uh, 4, 3 times 12 and uh, you have a remainder of 1 and then 5 comes down and you have 4, 3 times is 12 and the remainder is 3. So, the remainder will replace that exponent. So, i to the power 135 will become i to the power 3 and we all know that i cube is nothing but minus i. So, i to the power 135 is nothing but minus i. So, let's quickly solve another problem. All right, we've got i to the power 19. We don't even have to work it out because 4 times 4 gives you 16 and the remainder is going to be 3. So, again, we have i to the power 3, which is nothing but minus i. Let's solve another problem now. All right, we've got a problem here which has a negative exponent. So, that is nothing but it has to be written like this. You know that anything to the power of a negative exponent can be written as 1 divided by the same thing with a positive exponent. So, i to the power negative 999 can be written as 1 divided by i to the power 999. So, after this, it's the same thing. There's nothing different. Just divide 999 by 4 and just see what happens. 4 times 2 gives you 8 and 1 remainder. 9 comes down. 4 times 4 gives you 16. 3 remainder. 9 comes down. 4 times 9 gives you 36 and 3 is the remainder again. So, we have 1 divided by i cube, which can be written as i divided by i to the power 4. All right. Now, i is nothing but, just write it as i, don't write it as square root of minus 1. Now, i to the power 4 is nothing but just 1. So, i divided by 1 is i. So, therefore, i to the power of negative 999 gives you i, right? So, these are one of the most basic and the fundamental problems based on complex numbers or rather the integral powers of iota i, which is of course an integral part of the complex number itself. So, that's it. This uh, ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on complex numbers.